Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel sending email. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Up on my screen, we have our Seymour programming software and we have our data logging screen that we've done previously already up there and what we want to do is send this log that we have through email um, to our Gmail account. So the first thing we'll do is under the setup we'll call up our panel network. Alternative, alternatively we could also go to function under the navigation and under panel um, network we can go to the Ethernet port and call that up. So here's my Ethernet port reduce that down and we have our fixed or static IP address that we've assigned which is 192.168.1.18 our subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and our default gateway is 192.168.11 which is, allows this unit the Seymour to actually go out onto our internet then we have our DNS um, server, which is our name server. Um, and we're using the preferred DNS server as 8888. And our alter alternative DNS server is 8844. Now these are the address of, our, you know, of the Google DNS server. And we'll need that to actually look up names and transfer that from a name to an IP address. So once we have that, we'll go down to our mail client and under our mail, mail client, we will select SMTP authenticate, authenticated through with our email client protocol. Our mail address, our sender, will be the Gmail account that we're sending it to. Then we have our send mail server, our SMTP. This is the Gmail server which is smtp.gmail.com and our default port number for our SMTP is port 25. For encryption this server does require encryption and it's going to be TLS and our we will also check the use start TLS start TLS. Our th authentication will be our account name for the account and the email address for the account and our password is the password for that account. So that is our email client setup. So once we have that we'll just hit OK. Then we can go into our database and we must set our address book. So we have to indicate who we're sending the mail to. So we can add addresses I've added already two here. Again, we've added uh, my name here with the Gmail account that we're using, GCL uh, short at gmail.com. And we're adding another one here, which is uh, Gary S. So Gary short at accautomation.ca. So we'll hit OK. So there's my two addresses. So we have our email client set up. We have our addresses set up. Now the last thing we need to do is set up the event that will trigger our email itself. So hit OK. And so if we go in our database and we again go to event manager database, you will see we have one that says send email. If we double click on it, it will call up our event manager and we've called it send email. Under our action, we've selected our mail and we do this by adding different actions if we want. And we've selected our mail, that's why it's back here. So it close. Then we select, once we have our mail up, we can select our, from our address book, the two names that we've selected to receive the mail. Then we'll have a subject, which we'll just call Seymour message. And our message itself can contain time, date, and tags along with attachments. 
So again here, we can have several different characters here and we can use these tags or these um, icons at the bottom here to in indicate adding a time, adding date, and adding tag information. Now our attached file, we're going to be using our data log from our line. So if we uh, click on this, you can actually see that we're using the line trend logged file, which we're using from uh, page 16. We can also use capture uh, screen capture image if we wish as well. So we'll hit uh, cancel on that and we'll just close that. So that is our event manager. So once we have that, we'll send this over to our hardware. So what we should do is actually look at the hardware itself. So as always, here's my T10CL and we are currently logging to our USB uh, drive that's sitting right here as we've done in previously. So let's uh, hit send. And this will go through our ethernet port and let transfer. We'll uh, save our everything first. So now our program's now being transferred over to our HMI. Okay, that's now complete. Hit OK. We'll close that down now. And now our Seymour itself is communicating to our Do More Designer software, which is right here. And we have it in simulator mode, which is here. So let's turn the simulator mode back into run. So we're actually running our program. And what we're doing is the tag that's actually calling up our email, if we call that back again under our event database event manager, the tag itself is MI1. And when it turns on, it's gonna trigger my email going out with my message. So let's go okay, okay. So if we look at the actual program, you can see here, if I have my touch screen, I start it, and my one comes on as with my output zero, and this will send or trigger my email to fire out. So now we've transferred our program, we're all set. Let's see how that works. So let's call up our email account which is right here there's my gmail and let's turn on and then we'll turn that off and what that should now do is fire in an email which exactly is what it's doing and there is my email message key that just came in we can click it to call it up and you can see here there's my time and date stamps there's my log file and I can just click on it and you can see that it comes up with the, the information that we are currently trending. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.